Welcome back, everyone. I thought today would be a perfect day to do some more fun stuff in Emacs. I want to talk about reading documentation. Now, I I think it's enjoyable for some people who are maybe passionate about technical things to enjoy some good technical documentation. But for most people, I'm sure it doesn't sound very exciting to really dip into the technical manuals for your favorite software. But is there a way you can make it more enjoyable? There certainly is, and that would be with the info system. I think it's the best documentation reader that that I've found, and it usually comes with your system. It comes bundled with some of the software, I think, for your your Linux operating systems, but I'm pretty sure also on Mac you have some of this as well. It's particularly valuable um, on Linux because you have a lot of, there's probably a lot of core utilities and command line programs that you want to get to know better, and a lot of that is very rigorously documented with examples in the, the info system. So I'm going to show you how to get there through Emacs, and I'll just mention one of the great things about it is that if you if you get comfortable using the info system, you can kind of use it to replace search engines in a way. It's a different way of working. So if you're learning org mode, I learn a lot of things pretty visually as far as um, I can go a long way by watching someone demonstrate something, particularly um, org mode, because there's a lot of moving parts to it. It can really help to see someone give you examples uh, kind of like I try to do here sometimes about some of the things you can do with it and then seeing how you can adapt it to your style. So that gets you to a certain point, but then you may want to go deeper and you may want to get some more information. Oh, pardon. Let me turn this light on. Yeah, that's better. You can see me a little clearer. Uh, so, but when it's, when you feel like you want to go deeper and really dive into the, the guts of the program, uh, reading the actual documentation itself, as opposed to just uh, putting certain questions into search engines, I think it's a superior way of learning. So let's just jump right in and take a look. So the the quickest and easiest way to get into the info system, first let me show you if you're not using Emacs, just uh, as an example here. I'm going to open the GNOME terminal. So uh, you'll have your regular terminal prompt here. If you just type info, this is info. You can, you can come down here and, um, you know, if you want to read about Emacs, click on it. And this is all of the documentation for Emacs. And you can leave, you can click M. Yeah, you can. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. It doesn't work quite the same on the terminal, but uh, never mind. Never mind. Can I? OK. <laughs> but you could, for example, do info Emacs, and that'll jump you right into the, the Emacs documentation. But of course, if you're in Emacs, you will we we'll get some nicer stuff as well. So from Emacs, uh, the easiest way to do it is to click Control-H and then the letter I for info. Now here's the, the info system. So if I wanted to go right to, um, let's say, org mode, I can click the, the M key here. And I just start typing org, and you'll see the, uh, the, the Vertico uh, auto-completion there has it gives me some alternate options but uh, we want org mode so i can click on that it brings you right to org mode here and the way you move around which i also like i just wish i could get everything in the info system like any if i want to buy a book or like a, a any 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 book you can get on amazon it would be great if they had an info version because uh here you can use the space bar and just kind of go through the um go through the table of contents here uh, or if you if you know exactly what you're looking for, for example, uh, if I want to look up attachments, I can click M again and start typing, uh, and it'll give me some auto completions here, different types of um, so these would be uh, different nodes in the in the menu that I'm looking at here. Uh, everything in the info system, all the documentation has menus that uh, may contain lists of um, these hyperlinked contents here. And um, spacebar goes down, the backspace uh, button goes up. So space down, back, back with the, the backspace key. 
And uh, let's say you go into something here. You can also use your mouse. So if I want to click on how to do external links in org mode, you can click on it and you can read and like, okay, that's cool, but I want to go back. You can actually hit the L key and it took me back to, to where I was. And um, so the L is like your, your back button. And that's, that's really a lot of the basics of, of using info. There's a, a few more hot keys like control H and the letter R will bring you right to the Emacs documentation. So that's that's pretty quick. If you want to just get into Emacs, you want to learn about registers, you can just come in, control H, R, hit the M key, search for registers, and now you, you've got the documentation on, on registers. And let's say I'm in file registers. That's cool, that's cool. Um, oh, I want to jump from registers to read about macros. Oh, okay, keyboard macros. Okay, now press L, and you're back to looking at the registers. You can really jump around documentations really quickly. And as I may have mentioned before, when you, um, oh, actually, if you want to get back to the, the very top directory, you hit, uh, I believe, T takes you back to the top of the document you're looking at. D takes you back to the, the very top node of your system's info system. So there'll be documentation in here that is not related to Emacs. Like there's at the top here, you've got this big Emacs section. But as you go down, like there's some things here about tech and law tech. Um, in my previous videos you saw, I was talking about installing Octech, which is a, um, as you see here, a sophisticated tech environment for Emacs. So that didn't come with my info system. That this documentation was installed when I installed Octech. So you see the, the info system is actually uh, updates itself with, with new stuff. And uh, this is information about the tech info system. So for example, if you want to learn more just about reading the info system or how to write your own info documents, you'll find it here. So this, uh, this node right here that just says info, that is all just about how to use the info system. So what we're looking at here. So yes, all of this documentation is in HTML form online. Like you can probably go to the, the GNU website and you can, uh, you know, if you're, if you're good, if you know how to do Google site search and things, you can, you can probably just find all this with your, with your search engine. But the, the nice thing again about doing it this way is that it's, it's all in your system already. It might be unlikely that you'd be somewhere where you don't have internet, but it's nice that you have all of this here. You don't even have to go out to the web to get a lot of it. And it's already written in your it's in your your Emacs theme. Whatever you have here, you see I've got some font and things installed. So it's it's, it's if you're doing all your work in Emacs anyway, why not stay there? Uh, so that is that's just about the ins and outs of the of the info system here. Uh, let me see if there's anything else I wanted to show you. No, that's about it. Pretty convenient. I love using this info system. As I said, I would, if I had my way, I would love to read everything in it. But uh, that is not to be at the moment. But there you go. If you want to learn more about the info system, go into the info system and look up info. But other than that, thanks for watching. Have fun and enjoy reading your documentation. See you next time.